Today's session is regarding properties of state transition matrix. In order to discuss the properties of state transition matrix, here we consider an autonomous system represented by x dot equal to ax. This equation is also called a homogeneous equation. Let us assume that the solution of this equation is of the form x of t equal to a raised to a t into x of 0. If I take the derivative of this, I get a e raised to a t x of 0. That is dx by dt is equal to a e raised to a t x of 0 is nothing but x of t. So, if I compare this 1 and 2, we can see that both are same. Hence, x of t equal to e raised to a t into x of 0 is a solution for x dot equal to a x. So, our assumption is right. In the previous class we have seen x of t is nothing but Laplace inverse of si minus a inverse into x of 0. We have seen that this is a solution for x dot equal to ax. Now we compare the previous solution with our assumption. We can see that our assumption and the solution that we had obtained in the previous session are same. On comparing 1a with 3, we can write e raised to a t as Laplace inverse of si minus a inverse. This shows that the state transition matrix is nothing but e raised to a t. This results in a standard form for e raised to a t. e raised to a t is nothing but i plus a t plus a square t square by 2 factorial plus etc. This can be written from the fact that e raised to x is nothing but 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cubed by 3 factorial plus etc. which is the infinite series representation of e raised to x. In a similar way we can write for e raised to a t also. But only difference is a is a matrix. It is also called the matrix exponential. We can write e raised to a t as phi of t which is the notation for e raised to a t. From this the properties of state transition matrix can be deduced. The first property says phi of 0 equals e raised to a into 0 that is nothing but i the identity matrix. Now we have the second property phi inverse t equals phi of minus t. The proof goes like this. f 
phi of t is nothing but e raised to a t. So, phi of minus t is nothing but e raised to a into minus t. I can write hence phi of minus t as e raised to minus a t. That is nothing but e raised to a t the whole inverse. Something like x raised to minus 3 is 1 by x raised to 3. That is x raised to 3 the whole raised to minus 1. Hence I can write this as phi of t inverse. So phi of minus t is phi of t inverse. This is phi inverse t. We have the next property phi of t2 minus t1 into phi of t1 minus t0 equals phi of t2 minus t0. The proof goes like this e raised to a t2 minus t1 into e raised to a t1 minus t0 equals e raised to a t2 minus t1 plus t1 minus t0 that is e raised to a t2 minus t0 that is phi of t2 minus t0. We have the last property that is phi of t the whole raised to k equals phi of kt that is I can write e raised to a t the whole raised to k as e raised to a k t that is nothing but phi of k t just because e raised to a t is nothing but phi of t. From property 2, we have phi of minus t as phi inverse t. So this can also be used for finding the initial value of the state from any time t. Once we know the states at any time t we can find the initial value. That is x of t is nothing but e raised to a t into x of 0. So I can write x of 0 as e raised to 
minus 80 x of t that is if we have x of t as e raised to 80 x of 0 I can pre multiply this equation by e raised to minus 80 x of t as e raised to minus 80 into e raised to 80 into x of 0 this results in x of 0 equal to e raised to minus 80 into x of t. So, state transition matrix can be used in one way to find x of t from x of 0. It can also be used to find x of 0 from x of t. This can be treated as an extension of the property of state transition matrix. Thank you.